Okay, time for the next job. Uh, we are going to shut down a couple of power stations in order to help pull off a heist that's going to steal the medication that we need to stop turning into a giant pile of useless scrap metal and circuitry. Uh, so, in file 300 here, we have the, the names of the two power stations that we need to shut down. And... Uh, those are kept in the hosts, so the host names will tell us. So, CNL's over there. Uh, PYO is somewhere in here. I'm sure we'll find... Oh, it's right there. Uh, and in order to shut down a power station, we have to copy any value into the... Or no, copy a value of zero into the power register in the correct stations. So, uh, this is using a geographic, uh, geographic link system again. So if I want to go east, it's 801. If I want to go south, it's 802, etc. So, here's what I'm doing. Execution Agent A is going to be the only one we're going to start with, but we will be replicating quite a bit. The first thing that it's going to do is it's going to grab file 300, copy the name of the first host into our X, and I'm going to duplicate myself. So now Execution Agent A is going to then grab the second one, so PY0, and is going to be in charge of finding and shutting down PY0. XA0 is going to be in charge of finding and shutting down CNL. So what happens is uh, the manager, we'll call this one the manager, is going to jump into the network and is going to spider to the north and spider to the south. This is the terminology I've done. He's basically going to create an agent that's going to go north and look for uh, CNL. And then he's going to do the same thing to the south. They're going to go south and look for CNL. You can see XA00 is going north, XA01 is going south. Uh, and then XA0 is going to uh, move on to the next one and continue sending spiders out along each way. XA0 is going to do the same thing, or sorry, XA is going to do the same thing looking for their own host. Uh, what I've done is for spidering north into the south, uh, what I want them to do is I want them to go all the way to the end and then work their way backward. And the reason I made this decision was in the event that let's say PY0 was here and CNL was here, uh, you can end up with a race condition where an agent goes in and shuts down PY0 and then I can no longer move through PY0 to get to CNL you end up with a block. And that happens a lot in the test cases here. So you want to really make sure that it that you are handling that kind of a case. And the way I handled it was I decided to send all the way out to the north first or to the end first and then work your way back in. Uh, and that that kind of timing allows for better exploration. It results in outer ones being shut down before inner ones would generally be shut down. So what XA00 and XA01 are going to do is they go to the end and then they drop off. This one is called a checker. Uh, he's going to copy the host and see if it's the name of the host that he's looking for. So he's looking for CNL. He's going to copy the host in. Uh, it's TBN, so it doesn't match, which means he's just going to uh, halt. He's not going to do anything else. Uh, but let's say this one here, oh, no, that one's looking for... I was looking for CNL. Let's find, is it XA1? XA1, okay, he has PY0 and he's in the correct spot. So what he's going to do is he's gonna drop his checker. That's this guy here. He's looking for PY0, he's in PY0. He's gonna copy that in. Uh, where are you? Everything's moving around on me. Uh, the, the test is successful. So he's gonna copy zero into the power register. This guy right here, he's going to copy zero into the power register, and that's going to shut that one down. And they've already shut down CNL. Now, I don't have any kind of logic in here that's uh, alerting all of these other ones that we have found both of the stations and we can chill out. They're just going to keep going. They're going to spider everything, no matter what, because they'll all eventually end anyway. And that's it. So they're just going to spider out uh, two, basically two sets of them, each one looking for one of the two different power stations and shut them down. Uh, it can get a little messy with timing, especially if you have one of your target stations in the middle line here, uh, which is another reason that I did from the outside to the inside is because if I go here and then immediately cut this off, 
I'm not going to be able to like explore any further out of the network because this is where everything's starting. Like these are branches. So you want to hit the cut the leaves before you cut the branches in this exploration. So I'm going to let that run all the way through. <clears throat> so we did pretty good on the cycles and the size pretty high up on the activity. I'm sure that there's probably some clever trick that could bring the activity down. It's mostly just because I'm going out to the end and then back into the middle. If I had found some better way to refactor that, I'm sure I could have gotten that activity down to the rest of the levels. But we're in the low cycle area, and that's usually my only goal. 